My name's Jason and I'm here to help you learn DaVinci Resolve. I'm also known as the DaVinci Resolve Audio Guru, but today I've got eight transition tips for you that you probably didn't know about here in DaVinci Resolve. Today's video is sponsored by Artlist and the first tip I've got for you is this. I'm in the edit tab right here. I've got a bunch of clips in my timeline and if I go ahead and open up my effects library, make sure I'm under video transitions. If my playhead is right where two clips come together, I can just double click any transition I want. For example, camera shake and boom, it's automatically gonna add it into my timeline. Now, if I don't like that transition, I wanna change it to something else, I can come down and do a double click on any other transition and it's just gonna replace the transition for me. Here's a little crash zoom. And to take that even one step further, if I just have my playhead over a clip and I double click any one of our transitions, it's gonna add it to one end or the other of our clip. So if my playhead is a little past 50% of the clip, it adds it to the end. If it's a little bit before 50% of the clip and I double click it, it's gonna add it to the beginning of a clip. So really quick and easy to add in some transitions by double clicking them right here in your effects library. Tip number two, we're gonna jump over to the cut page. Now in the cut page here, when we add in a transition, if I open my transitions at the top of the screen here, we've got some different options on how we can add that transition. Now, if your playhead is over top of the clip, you wanna add the transition on, you've got these three icons right here. You can add a transition to the end of the clip, you can add it to the beginning of the clip with this one. And with the middle option here, you can have it overlap to clips. So just another quick way that you can add a transition into the spot that you want to right here in the cut page. Now, when you're working with all these awesome transitions, you need some good music and good sound effects to go along with those transitions to help sell the effect. And that's where somebody like Artlist, the sponsor of today's video, comes in handy. Artlist is an all-in-one platform for content creation that helps provide you with the best music, sound effects, footage, templates, plugins, and software for content creators. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm making a video, sometimes I need to jump on there on Artlist and look around for a little bit hear different songs to see what I think is gonna fit with my video the best. Maybe I need a specific sound effect and I need to go search for that. Artlist is a place that's a one-stop shop. Anything you need to make your videos awesome, Artlist is gonna have you covered. And the clips that we're using in today's examples with the cool flowers opening and closing, those clips came from Artlist as well. So if you need some awesome assets to help take your videos to that next level, and maybe you wanna give Artlist a try, I've got a link in the description below. You can check that out. You're gonna get two months for free when you sign up for a year of Artlist. And honestly, I don't think you're gonna go wrong by signing up for Artlist if you are in need of some royalty-free assets that you can use in all your videos. Sometimes we need an awesome service like Artlist to help us get that job done a little bit quicker and actually, for me, a little bit better if I'm being honest. So a big thank you to Artlist for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into the rest of our transition tips in DaVinci Resolve. Jumping back to the edit page. Now, when it comes to our transition, there's gonna be a default selected transition. And in this case, and in most cases, it's gonna be the cross dissolve right here. But let's say maybe you wanted to use a different transition as your standard transition that would get applied in our upcoming tips. Well, if you don't wanna use cross dissolve, you can go to any other transition that you want. We can go to, let's say, I iris. I'm gonna right click on it and we can say set as standard transition. Boom, and now we see that little red tick mark right there. That's gonna indicate that that is our default transition. So that's gonna be applied when we use some of the upcoming shortcuts here to apply transitions to our clips. So you can select any transition that you want by just right clicking on it and choose set as standard. The next tip here can come in really handy if you wanna put in a transition between two clips and you wanna specify the length of that transition. All I have to do is come to my point between two clips, right click, and I can add a six frame, 12, 24, or 48 frame transition. Now, generally I like transitions that are around 10 or 12 frames. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit 12 frames. Here's what that looks like. Now, if that's too fast or too slow, again, I can just use Command or Control Z to undo that. And I can pick a different one, add 24 frame. But it's a real quick, easy way to add different length transitions in between two clips. The next tip here is copying and pasting a transition. Now, what we can do is select our transition. You wanna highlight it like that. And if you're having trouble highlighting it, just zoom in more on your timeline and then you can select it. Then you can hold your option or alt key, click, hold and drag that transition to another point on your timeline in between two other clips. And then boom, we've copied that transition from here to here. And you can click, hold and copy that around as many times as you want. Now that was copying a transition individually, but let's say you've got multiple locations to paste 
that transition too. So I added a couple more cuts here. I'm gonna to come to my transition. I'm gonna select it, Command or Control C to copy it. Once I've copied the transition, I'm gonna come and hold my Control or Command key on a Mac and select all of the places that I wanna paste the transition to. So now I've got them selected. You can see they're highlighted green there. And I'm just gonna use Command or Control V. And boom, it's gonna paste those transitions to all of those locations on my timeline. The next tip here is editing your own transition curve. Here's how you do it. In your timeline, you're gonna to wanna to zoom in on your transition. I'm gonna go ahead and select my transition. And you'll notice we've got a little diamond right here. When I click on the diamond, we're gonna get this little box below it here. And if I click on this little line right here, it's gonna allow me to adjust the transition curve. What we can do is use our Option or Alt key on a PC and add points onto our transition line because right now it fades from one spot to the next smoothly and evenly. But if we wanted to change that, we can move our points around a little bit. Maybe I'll delete this middle one here. I can select my point there. I can smoothen it out, give it a nice little curve. And now when I play through my transition, this is what it looks like. And I change it to the star transition just so you can see it a little bit easier. And we can even make it a little bit longer here just so it's easier to see. And we can make that curve do whatever we want so you can really customize the transition however you might like it. The next tip here is saving your own custom transition. Now, what I like to do a lot of times is start with one of the transitions that are already in DaVinci Resolve. For example, I've got a few that I created here, a slide up and a slide down. So if I wanted to create that transition preset, I can come to the slide here. I'm gonna replace it on my timeline here. I'm gonna just put slide over here. I'm gonna make it as long as I want it. And in my case, I wanna do 12 frames because that's what I think would look pretty good. I can see which way it's sliding. Now I can adjust some options here on many of the transitions by opening my inspector. I can change the direction that it is sliding if I want. I can do top to bottom. I'm gonna add a little feather there, the border, a little motion blur. And let's say I'm happy with how that looks. And let's say I wanna call this transition a slide down transition. I can just come to my timeline, right click on the transition and say, create transition preset. Then I'll get this, I can name it whatever I want. I'll call it slide down version two. And then I'll go ahead and hit okay. So now that is saved as a preset that I can use whenever I want. So if I scroll down in my transition area, under user presets, we can see right here, I have slide down version two. So let's say I wanted to replace the crash zoom here. I'll put my playhead there, double click my slide zoom. And now we've got our slide zoom in there. Really handy if you like to customize the transition just a little bit and then be able to save that as a preset so you don't have to do it every single time you go to use that transition. And the last tip here, which I didn't really even include in the list, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, many of the transitions that we use in Resolve here, for example, our crash zoom, have a lot of different options we can change in our inspector. So you can change the way it looks, change the size of it, add motion blur. You can change the zoom amount. You've got a lot of different options of things that you can change when it comes to your standard transitions that you might use here in DaVinci Resolve. So jump in there, try out some of these transition tips that you probably didn't know about. A big thank you to Artlist for sponsoring today's video. And as the audio guy here, if you wanna learn more about audio for your videos, how to take it to the next level, check out my course, Audio Essentials for Video Editors in DaVinci Resolve. That's linked down below, you can check that out. With that said, hope you guys found this helpful and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.